wearing a hat. This is a clip of the documentary, The Central Park Five, from award-winning filmmaker Ken Burns. The film follows the true story of a brutal rape and beating of a white woman left in Central Park. Uh, it was in 1989. Five black and Hispanic teenagers were sent to prison and eventually <laughs> exonerated for this crime some 11 years later. It's a different kind of story for the gentleman we're getting ready to talk to, oh. Mr. King Burns. Victory. Good morning, Lee. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you. Welcome back to Michigan once again. I know you're, you're, you're familiar with the place and, uh, and good to talk to you again. Uh, let's get into this because first things first, that was uh, a case that polarized the city in a time when it was already racially polarized. Uh, give us some of the details for people who don't remember what happened in 89. So on April 19th, a white jogger was found severely beaten and raped near death in the northern reaches of Central Park. Uh, there had been some kids who'd gone in the park and made some mischief, committed some misdemeanors, and uh, actually one felony, a group of about 35 <laughs> kids. But they focused on five boys uh, who were all from good families, hadn't been in trouble with the law before, and were innocent of anything uh, that night, and uh, decided they could make these kids uh, for this. Assault, ignoring evidence from two days before of uh, the M.O. of a serial rapist who would go on to rape and murder other women in, uh, in New York City. Mm -hmm. And um, they just couldn't let go of the lurid story of the wild... Oh, God, she scares me. <laughs> and uh, these kids were innocent. They had them 14 years old, 15 years old, 15 years old, a developmentally challenged 16-year-old uh, in, in interrogations for upwards of 30 hours without water, without food, often without their parents, certainly without lawyers, and they basically, it was a circular firing squad. They get uh, each kid to implicate the other, and so uh, all of a sudden they wake up, and they're just promised, you could, if you just say someone else did it, we'll let you go home, and they didn't go home for 13 years, and after 13 years, the oldest bumped into the rapist in jail, and he said, God, you're doing time for something I did, there. And, and, you know, confessed, and they were exonerated, but She's dancing like crazy. Look at her. Yeah, I got it. They had a civil suit with the city of New York and the city won't She plays hard. She's a tough little cookie. You know, with 13 years of justice denied and another 10 years of justice delayed, which we know is also justice uh, denied. And that's why we made it. Everyone's wanting to let her play with it for a second. Stylistically exciting. But she doesn't want to play with it. She just wants to chase it. But and try to give it to her. Themes we've talked about <laughs> in America and the history of our country and how the press failed.